is our biggest course ever here at Mograph Plus and we spent almost 4 months working on this course. In this course, in more than 17 hours or 1030 minutes of high quality and academic video tutorials, we explore one of the most popular render engines which is V-Ray from Chaos Group. Our ultimate introduction to V-Ray for 3ds Max is, without a doubt, the most detailed, high quality and academically approached course on V-Ray up to now. The videos are categorized into 9 sections. In section 1, we give you a general overview of V-Ray in 3ds Max and its user interface. Section 2 will be all about lighting. We go through all the lights that V-Ray offers. We explore V-Ray area light, mesh and dome light, V-Ray sun and sky, IES light. We learn how to use standard 3ds Max lights with V-Ray and learn about V-Ray lighting tools like V-Ray Light Lister. And we literally explore every single option and light and parameter with practical examples and visualize how they work. In section 3 we talk about global illumination or indirect lighting. First we learn how light rays work in real world and how V-Ray simulates the same behavior using global illumination. Then we start learning about all the GI engines that V-Ray has like Brute Force, Radiance Map and Light Cache. We learn how to use these engines in different lighting scenarios to produce the most realistic lighting possible. We explain every single available parameter in the GI tab of V-Ray settings with actual examples and we finally learn how to render flicker-free animations with global illumination. Section 4 will be dedicated to the very core of V-Ray which is image sampling. First, we learn the basic concept and then we learn about bucket and progressive image sampler, global DMC options, image filters, and render masks. Section 5 is all about V-Ray materials and this is the longest section of the course and we spend more than 5 hours in 17 lessons explaining all the materials and maps that V-Ray has to offer. We start this section with V-Ray material or V-Ray MTL and as this is the most important V-Ray material we spend more than 1 hour explaining this material. Then we talk about bump and displacement mapping, blend material, two-sided, subsurface scattering, skin and car paint material. We learn about hair material, override and wrapper materials and finally go through all the remaining materials and maps that are included in V-Ray. In the next section we learn about cameras and camera effects in V-Ray. First we explore physical camera in depth, then we learn how to produce and adjust effects like depth of field and motion blur, we learn about different camera types in V-Ray, then we explain stereoscopic 3D rendering and lens effects like bloom and glare in V-Ray. Unlike other topics, after watching these sections you should be a master of handling your camera in V-Ray because everything has been explained in extreme details and based on academic approach. In the next section we go through the remaining render settings. First we learn about color mapping and why it is so important in forming your final image. Then we talk about V-Ray virtual frame buffer, global switches, environment rollout, how to produce and adjust caustics effect in V-Ray. We talk about more technical and advanced settings in the settings tab of V-Ray. We learn how to use V-Ray RT to interactively render and adjust our scene in real time. Then in the longest lesson of the course, we discuss and explain V-Ray render elements or render passes. We go through all the render elements and learn how to generate different render elements and what each one adds to the final render. Then we learn how to composite those render elements using an external application like After Effects. And finally, in this section, we take a look at V-Ray Quick Settings, which allows you to control the overall quality of your render in a very simple and user-friendly interface. In section 8, we'll learn about V-Ray geometries, including V-Ray Proxy, V-Ray First, Section Clipper, and other geometries. And in the final section, we discuss atmospheric and volumetric effects in V-Ray. First, we learn about V-Ray Environment Fog and explain all of its options using visual examples. Then we learn about Aerial Perspective, Tune Render Effect, and in the final lesson, we learn about V-Ray Volumetric Grid, which allows us to import grid-based cache formats like OpenVDB and render them using V-Ray. First, we learn the basics, and after that, we import several OpenVDB files and try to adjust their shaders and settings to produce some exciting explosion, fire, and smoke effects. The ultimate introduction to V-Ray for 3ds Max is the biggest course we have ever produced and we are very proud of that. The course was recorded in 3ds Max 2017 and V-Ray 3.4. We plan to keep this course alive and update the course with more video tutorials as soon as a new version of V-Ray is made available by Chaos Group. Hell, we are already planning to record a series of video tutorials 
as an update for this course when Vero 3.5 comes out. The thing about this inclusive course is there is a plan for every single moment of it. We literally wrote down scripts for each and every single lesson of the course. That's why I like to think of this course as 1030 minutes of pure and premium knowledge. So there you have it. If you are looking for a detailed, academically approached, high quality course on Vero 4 3ds Max, I promise you absolutely cannot find better than the ultimate introduction to Vero 4 3ds Max by MoGraph Plus. My name is Kamel Khezri from MoGraphPlus.com and I'm honored to be your instructor for this course. So sign in or sign up and let's get started.